Hello everyone, I'm Oracle Unicorn and welcome to Shaman Messages. I'm visiting with my son, so I'm in my son's room again. Um, yesterday, I'm so sorry. I could, I just was so exhausted. <laughs> and I could not figure out a great, the, the, the perfect time to do this and the perfect spot. And then last night, I figured it out. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, at night it's not very good. I like laying in the bed and like laying next to my son whenever he goes to bed. Um, and yeah, so I was like, you know what, the most perfect time is when all of them are in school and I just do it in my son's room. <laughs> so it works. <laughs> And by the way, please do keep in mind this is a general reading. Not all of it will um, resonate with you in this specific time. Take what resonates, leave the rest, and put some in your back. Put some things in your back pocket because you never know what it might help for later realizations and downloads that you may get. And please remember to check your moon and rising sign as those may resonate with you as as well or more or you may be able to use the other videos within your chart to cross connect to help you fi like uh figure things out questions that you may have and realizations that you're putting pieces to a puzzle together with so i've realized that my videos cross connect very well all right so this is a weekly reading for aries hello aries I love doing Aries, because <laughs> it's my rising sign. Hope all of you are doing well. Okay. What other messages do we have for Aries? there. Okay, that works better. By the way, this is a Mr. Rogers shirt. I want it. <laughs> it was like a Halloween thing going on at one of my dad's places that he hangs out and he knows the band and they did like a dance contest and I won the Mr. Rogers shirt over the dance contest. I was the only one that danced but still. I know I'm like really good at dancing, so I was like, why not? I'll go get the shirt. It was a free easy shirt. <laughs> I go, I, I dance for their band all the time. Okay, so now um, what I did was my nature deck. And then I'm going to use the energies of the fairies. I had like just woke up not even like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> so I'm still like... Waking up to a point, that's one of the best times to really like, mm, yeah, resonate and feel the message. It's when you're most vulnerable. I really would love some coffee. <laughs> it's okay. I may not get coffee. And I am behind. Only a day behind. But I'm still behind, so I wanted to get my readings done. What other messages do we have for dear Aries? That might be a little loud. Okay. That, that's actually better. <laughs> oh, okay. Usually when I do this, I don't use two cards, but it's resonating with me strongly to use two cards. So, we got full on oracle cards going on here. It's awesome. <laughs> I find this cool. <laughs> Sometimes, like, energies change. And I use different de Wow, that's very matching. That's very cool.
Okay. So far, what I strongly feel for you, Aries, is you're celebrating and waking up to an unconscious power of yours because that's your overall card. So you have celebration. Yeah, because you have growth underneath that. Celebration into growth and feeling grateful within this growth of an unconscious power of unconditional giving and unconditional receiving. That's amazing. That's quite good. And underneath that, you have union. So you're either stepping into a union with an opening of gates when it comes to un like your un unconscious power that in secrets that you're tapping into. And yeah, because you're really amplifying your level of sensibility, being very sensitive and understanding the balance between the good and the bad and um, creating and seeing the that was cool. Creating and seeing the color within, um, and not just in a black or in a black and white kind of like scenario. You're kind of seeing the good and the bad, and the bad and the good. So, um, and that's what's uh, creating this sense of like um, like a, an epiphany of an enlightenment within yourself and amplifying your emotions and really um, treading in the waters of your new found sense of um, understanding and com in peer communication within the understandings of yourself and um, your, your balance you're bringing in because you do have the promise of the future. Iris of the rainbows. So it's really brightening up your uh, sense of cycles and the things that you were cyclically going through and passing through the gate. Through the gate, I feel out of um, certain depths of things that brought you down into pure communication of being able to be willing to receive, whether it's the good and the bad or the bad and the good, because you're being willing to like receive all this information, whether it be in a rough situation or it be in a good situation, but yet still looking within about um, the harvest within, all the um, adventureful um, jumps that you've made, um, the shift in point of view that is going on that's allowing you to receive this um, pure communication within yourself and your guides, okay? And allowing you to be able to really rise up out of the depths of this um, maybe sorrow, sorrowful or regret, sense of regret, and um, allowing you to really illuminate your own light and um, your unconscious power and wisdom that is being granted to, upon you within this um, fresh new way of seeing certain things of the past, seeing certain things that um, that possibly maybe um, held you back in an emotional stance and you're really being able to pull in an emotional like balance and um, views with like the good in the bad and the bad in the good and being able to balance both out to where it's like a, a bountiful harvest within both and kind of bringing them together it's like polishing of those skills that you have been um working to really practice in your daily life okay and you're bridging like your your happiness to being able to also um, find that sense of medium um, feeling through and like just literally being able to like trust within the flow and not getting mad too much upon the bad and not getting overly excited within the happy that it does bring you down it's kind of like you're finding the middle balance to be able to be happy within both scenarios no matter like even if it's like a, a self-pity like energy it's like right here it's a spontaneous of um, inspirational events 
and messages in your dreams that's helping you to be able to liberate yourself in this healer sense and feeling the support and aid of your friends feeling the support and aid of um I feel like your, 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 your spiritual wisdom within and your, um, your guides and messengers pulling you and assuring you to this state of realizing no matter how rough the situation is, there's everyday blessings to play in. Um, there's, there's light always to be pulled out of the depths. There's always some sort of hidden light within that sticky situation, within that sense of like lower vibrational energy around you. Um, there's always light to be pulled out of it. And I feel that's what you're com more communicating more with yourself and not necessarily feeling as if you're having to teach it. You're more or less nurturing this, this um, new shift in view and way of seeing into your habits of every day no matter where you are and that that's and it's like what you're being supported in with the depths of your strength and wisdom and having patience and um it's like you're still having that patience but you're no longer like sitting back and waiting for things to change you literally become the embodiment of the change in everything it's like the, the the timely endings of the way you shift your point of view and how you then react instead of um feeling as if you have to teach others how to react within the certain things you just react in that kind of way and just go along and how you would do things let everyone else do what it is that they want to do and in, in the way they want to do things and you just kind of like walk through it in an exemplified way of a um, shift of perspective in a way in a new way of handling things you literally start becoming smarter than what of uh, than everything you're really working with and um, that's your inspirational um, self-care that's really um, was tied into the weave, the gifts that you were able to bring to um, the picture, the unconditional giving and the unconditional um, receiving. You are unconditionally receiving it, neither good nor bad, even if it could be viewed as a rough situation. You're neither seeing it of either, and you're bringing the beauty out of all of it. <laughs> or um, brightening up the beauty within what is of an everyday blessing and being spontaneous about it all of this is coming in in a spontaneous way and it's like um, purely time to happen within this way so that you then also become the uplifting friend the one that no one ever feels in a sense of guilt when being around you they just kind of like like having you around in a way of their own way of self-teaching so in a way yeah you are teaching a sense of healing um but you are actually coming into shifting um the energies around you and you're um really passing through this trial and becoming a new sense of um peace and walking through these trials in a different way almost like in a buddhist like way how they would go through it um but you're you're going through it in a very like shifting of energy way a very shifting of the energy way like you're, you're taking this um the, all of these energies and shifting them into this this um, form of growth within any inner shadow there is within any um, point 
within your situation and it's not like you're really planning on doing it it's like you're 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 triumphing to this new level where you're just naturally starting to do it and then you're coming into practicing these skills and shifting everything into um literally the everyday blessing for you and the more you shift into this and um master these skills and really bring it more to a perfected conscious level you will be able to it's like that assurance will come in your your own pure sense of assurance when it comes to your unconscious gift will come in and be very aware and you'll literally walk through your life within this um shifting of energy and leveling it's almost like it's almost like you're almost like a fairy like 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 uh, sprinkling fairy dust on everything for it to be seen as a opportunity to be better in something or an opportunity to kind of like level something up or an opportunity in a way of well how can I make this easier <laughs> how can I do things in a way to where it's not so stressful <laughs> to do this <laughs> so it's like I feel like you're really shifting it into a way to where you're you become your best friend and then in result you are then becoming everyone else's subconscious best friend okay even if you have like rough energy between someone you're subconsciously become like subconsciously with them even though you know you're doing this consciously subconsciously with them you're more or less becoming more of their best friend because and and they like having you around more because they um are realizing the way you're doing it is working and so they're like the more they watch you the more they learn how to do it and so that it becomes easier for them okay so it's like you're 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 really initiating mastering this sense of like being a healer and not doing healing okay and I feel that's your liberation. That's a big release for you. It like releases a lot of burdens off of you. It's like it liberates you to the point of view of being able to just like, well, I really do only have to worry about myself and my own reaction into things. I don't really have to teach how to do it either because you just kind of like do it by example in an amplified way that other people are actually getting it. Yeah. Okay. Aries. What other messages do we have for... Your commitment in it is being tested though, okay? It will be tested, of course. Because, you know, you're, it's, it's a polishing... Wow, I can't believe I just put it over here across this adventure it's a polishing of this skill it's going to take a lot of practice into this especially when it comes to the shifting point of view and healing and um staying self-consciously aware within yourself okay but you're being able to pull and look at the bigger picture within all of it and the answers you need are coming in with this way of being able to handle the smaller details within your bigger picture the bigger picture within this way of healing is shifting into more of your conscious level of being able to see things in a um less i feel like less like a hard labyrinth than more like in journey through um feeling your sensories within this labyrinth okay and so that the labyrinth's not really a labyrinth, you're just literally kind of like feeling through which turn in different directions you are going through and not having to really think too much about it or plan within the ways of doing this. And that's overall 
healing you too, healing more of your subconscious energy that you may not necessarily know what is there that is needed to be heal it, healed, healed, healed. Yeah, needed to be healed. <laughs> um, other emotions around you are going to rise high, but it will um, it will be a little bit hard when it comes to the communication status in it. But the more you kind of allow yourself to um, be within yourself and be okay within, you know, of other people's levels of communication and understanding when it comes to their own way of doing it, instead of feeling bad that you feel that it's being handled wrong, um, you just sit back and it's like, well, what can I do to improve the way this is being handled? Um, what are you doing? I'm sorry. Oh, you're good. <laughs> emotions <laughs> that's my step that's my son's stepmom that was Melissa by the way <laughs> I guess some of you are like hold on, on you're at your son's house and I do and I am obviously been staying the night it, 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 yep. it totally works this is how I'm learning a lot of this <laughs> Oh, Amara. Poor Amara. Okay. Oh, yeah. Is this helping you heal some of your own subconscious, like, past energy? Um. It's okay. And, um. I feel like you're going. I feel like this. It's helping you to, yes, release. But it's helping you to not take on burdens, uh, emotional burdens, within um, the way other people are handling things. And if you feel it's a little bit not the way you would handle it, you would see how you could help within improving upon the situational matter. Uh, Amara. Okay. Stay right there. Okay. All right. I, I I just won't bug with it no more. I see you, Amara. It's a good girl. Okay. So I feel that is what is bringing to the surface of things that is needing to be released and amplifying yourself in a new heightened um, understanding and enlightened subconscious level and so that you are more naturally flowing within the flow of the tides and seeing where it is that your unconscious coming into conscious wisdom and ability and healing um, power is um, coming into light with other people and why you are within those situations instead of feeling as if like you're being um, you're being punished for some reason and that's why you're going through it you're shifting into basically okay what is this bringing me practice and polishing of my own skills as to the reason why I'm brought here or possibly the reason why I'm constantly being brought to this state okay I 
and watch it unfold and you'll just be able to see it unfold more and more as you um, stay committed and then you'll ne you will no longer necessarily feel as if your commitment in things is being tested but yet that your commitment in things is actually being sharpened um, being practiced upon being perfected um, and you even got the healer card being perfected into understanding the um, higher enlightening ways of being a healer what are you doing and you already know the answer to every obstacle that you come across it's just how you're going to play within this obstacle how you're uh, Mara, how you're going to play within this obstacle how you're going to become the the wind and the purifying water within the situation than to feel as if you have to swim through this situation or create a boat through this situation. And that's how you will really be able to tap into this unconscious wisdom within every um, scenario, every um, rough incident within issues possibly when it comes to people that may be hard to deal with all right so that is your weekly reading i greatly appreciate it please don't forget to like subscribe subscribe and greatly improves the channel i am oracle unicorn and i will see you next week goodbye